had a brother in the Lord send me a link to this video yesterday before we left the office, and I thought I'm going to try to watch it tomorrow, today in other words. Um, and uh, so I'm going to, I just got done watching this video, and um, some good points were made, but the solution at the end is completely satanic. It is literally the New World Order. Um, just to, to tell you a little story here, uh, many years ago, back before I knew my wife, um, we had a house church, Bible Believers Fellowship, down in Pennsylvania, and myself and a couple of the other brethren there, we were talking the one night after one of our Bible studies, and the point was brought up, what if the patriot, patriotic movement, the uh, anti-New World Order thing, what if that is actually the New World Order movement? Um, because you're, we were starting to see this thing with Alex Jones and a couple of the other guys where they're saying, you know, we need to come together to defeat the New World Order. Thinking, uh, okay, so we have to come together, give up our religious differences and our, you know, beliefs about, uh, you know, whether you're a, a pervert or not. Um, we have to give up all this stuff to fight the common enemy. Isn't that the New World Order? You know, and... I've seen this thing with this patriot movement that they do this. They raise up an evil system and then we all have to fight, come together and fight the common enemy. All right. Um, they say we should come together. We should definitely come together. Well, uh, no, not so. Let me uh, go here to Genesis chapter, uh, no, it's chapter 11, excuse me. I'm not thinking here. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them throughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord God came down, and the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. It's all come together, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build a city. And it says about the name of it, it's called Babel, or Babel. Um, that's what God wants. You know what God wants? God wants segregation. Oh, racism. No, no, please listen. Okay, segregation is people in their own countries having very strong culture. And then other people can go and visit that other country and experience that wonderful, beautiful, separated culture. And the people, then all their unique foods and clothing and all the other stuff that they have, and you can respect each other. But coming together and all blending and all giving everything up and becoming this one type of people, that's what the devil wants. That's what the very first New World Order system, the system of Babel, ancient Babel, that's what they wanted. And that's what we must fight against. We have to remain separate. So going through this, and I was um, watching it, I thought, I think I know where this is going to go at the end. They're going to use the pagan term of human, and they're going to say, we all need to come together, and let's, you know, we need to think about our human future and all this It's humanism. Right? Humanism is a satanic movement. All right? I'm going to play a little bit of this here, and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. There's no mention of sin. They never mentioned the Jesuit order uh, that's behind all this stuff and everything. They've never mentioned, mentioned any of that. You know, the uh, Many people believe that Karl Marx's book, The uh, Communist Manifesto, was actually written by Jesuits. I believe the same way, just as Adolf Hitler's. Mein Kampf was written by Jesuits, but uh, and Hitler openly admitted to patterning his SS after the Jesuit order. Um, and you get all the big players in the COVID thing uh, here in America, especially the ones with that were really putting out a lot of the propaganda stuff. They were all Jesuits, okay, almost completely Jesuits. I'll say it that way. But let's watch a little bit of this thing here, and uh, you'll see what I'm saying. We've been brought together in this moment to face the urgent choice between dehumanization and rehumanization. Dehumanization requires us to do nothing. 
nothing other than to allow that process to continue to the point of no return. Rehumanization, on the other hand, requires action. One action. Show pictures of little children. Show pictures of babies and happy, smiling it. It's propaganda. They're attacking propaganda and then they use propaganda. So, okay, you can't just have a guy standing up there giving a lecture or whatever. Uh, no, we have to put in the music. Uh, you know, yeah, let's continue. To remember. To remember what we knew as children. When everything was possible. Before our attention was captured. Before the conditioning set in. Before our... This is conditioning? Nature was denied. There's nothing new we have to learn. All we have to do is to remember. And then take the hand of that memory and go out and stand on ground. Not concrete, not asphalt. Stand on ground and see if you can feel the heartbeat of a universe. <laughs> feel the heartbeat of the universe? On Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. Amen. Don't stand on concrete. It doesn't have to be solid. You can stand on this and just take the hand of the universe. <laughs> cuckoo, cuckoo. Yeah. Idiocy. And that guy that was speaking with the bald head, you know, whenever it looks like John Davis. Um, now that guy there, he's a nut. That guy's some kind of a Freemasonic, just new age nut. Let's continue. That conspired to give you life. The universe that conspired to give you life. No, it's called the Lord Jesus Christ. All things were created by him and for him. And without him was not anything made that was made. So you once again can feel the joy of being completely human. Human's not a Bible word. It's very important to get that satanic word out of your vocabulary. I say it, I'm repeating it from this thing here, but the mankind, that's the word. And then never forget that moment. Or, you know, you could come to the Lord as a sinner and ask him to save you. Believe the words of the King James Bible. You know, oh, America is such a great nation. How did it become a great nation? You know, that used to be. This thing now is not the America that used to be. How did it become such a great nation? Through the word of God. The birth of the modern era came from printing the Bible in the language of the common people. That's where freedom comes from. If the Son shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. There is no freedom without Jesus Christ and the King James Version for the English-speaking world. There's none. All the other versions come from the Vatican. So don't be deceived by this. I mean, it's just things just coming out here a few days, a few days ago. Like I said, somebody just sent it to me. So, um, yeah. Uh, be very careful what you're watching. All right. uh, I've been awake to this stuff for a very long time now. And anything that gets you away from the Bible and the Lord Jesus Christ and condemnation of sin. There's no condemnation of sin in this whole thing. No mention of the sins of America. Just all the communists are secretly plotting against us. And all, you know, the, I was probably, oh, World Economic Forum. Yeah, that's another one. And, and uh, um, uh, what about personal sin of each individual person? Righteousness exalteth the nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. So just wanted to put this out very quickly. Just got done watching this. I thought I need to make a quick video. Don't be deceived by it, brethren. And if you're unsaved out there and you want spiritual power to fight against this evil and everything, and it is very evil what's coming to this world, there's only one place for spiritual power. 
And it's not the founding fathers of America either, by the way. Let me just say that the Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, Freemasons, and a lot of the other guys, George Washington, they say it was a Freemason. No idea. But the whole point is it was the men who fought and died, not the leaders. And they fought and died with this book in their hands. So uh, that is going to be it. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please be careful what you listen to and what you look at.